Hello, in this lesson, we are going to take a look at the various methods for creating construction geometry. To begin, we will start a new sketch in the front plane. Next, I'm going to line tool, and before I select my first point on the screen, let's take a look at the property manager. Under options, I have an option for construction. So, I'm going to put a check mark right here. I'm going out to the screen and selecting my two points. And there I have a construction line. The same can be done with rectangular. After I create a rectangular, I go back to the property manager and once again, under options, put a check mark in front of construction. And the same is true for circles and arcs. Now, let's say for example, you create a geometry and it is not a construction line. However, at a later time, you want to make it a construction line. You simply click on it, go back to Property Manager and put a check mark in front of the construction. Close out of the Property Manager and here you are, have a construction line. You probably notice all these construction lines look like center lines, and if you recall in earlier lesson, when I covered the line sketch tool, I mentioned that we will be talking about the center line sketch tool in a later lesson, so let's do that now. If I go to the drop down for the line sketch tool and activate the center line option, the center line is nothing more than a line sketch tool with four construction checked. So we will go out to the screen. The center line is used for center lines or construction lines. Now we have one last method for turning existing geometry into construction lines, and that method is by going into the tools and drop down menu, go down to sketch tools, and then construction geometry. Property manager opens, asking you to select the sketch entities. And then, when you close out of the construction geometry, it takes the geometry and makes it a construction lines. Now, if you think that is a tool that you are going to use on a regular basis, notice it is not appearing in the sketch ribbon, but it is easy enough to add. All you have to do is to click the drop menu next to the options, select customize, go to command tab, and then go down to the sketch category. There's our button. Drag and drop in the ribbon. OK out of the customized dialog box. And now we have just added a new sketch tool called Construction Geometry to the sketch ribbon. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.